Elspeth McEwen was taken from the session house at Dalry to the toll booth at Kirkcubry. She had not confessed to the crime of witchcraft, so the judicial process into which she was placed set about obtaining a confession from her. How did they go about obtaining that confession? We can't know exactly, but what we do know is the kinds of methods that were used. Most common of all was sleep deprivation, which of course can make a person hallucinate. It's also likely that Elspeth was quite poorly fed. Although a note in the Dalry Kirk session record on the 15th of October 1697 shows that the parish was still paying for her upkeep. It was two years before Elspeth finally confessed. During those two years, according to J. Maxwell Wood in his book Witchcraft and Superstitious Record in the Southwestern District of Scotland, in Kirkcubri Prison, Elspeth McEwen was so inhumanly treated that she frequently implored her tormentors to terminate a life which had become a grievous burden to her. Before Elspeth finally confessed, she had shared a cell with a woman called Janet Corby. Janet was accused of theft. Janet was later accused of trying to dissuade Elspeth from confessing. She told Elspeth that people were sinning in their soul when they called Elspeth a witch. Janet was tried on the same day as Elspeth and sentenced to deportation. Elspeth was put on trial on the 15th of June, 1698. She was tried alongside another woman, Mary Miller. On the 26th of July, Elspeth was pronounced guilty and sentenced to death. And what was an execution for witchcraft really like? For Elspeth, an executioner was hired, a man by the name of William Kirk. William seems to have spent the 20 days up to Elspeth's execution in jail at Kirkcubri. Perhaps he was hired because he was already a vagrant and was put up in prison. He appeared before the provost petitioning that he was in great straits in this dear time and liked to starve from hunger and he was given six shillings to pay in advance. He claimed he could not go and ask locals for food or go home for fear of being pelted with stones. On the 24th of August, 1698, Elspeth McEwen was taken alongside Mary Miller to Silver Crags at Kirkcubri in front of a crowd and accompanied by the sound of a single drummer, William Kirk strangled Elspeth at the stake, then her body was burned. <laughs>